Hi everyone, it's Emily from emilylynnfisher.com and today I want to talk about criticism. There's a quote, if you want to avoid criticism, do nothing, be nothing, say nothing. Think about that. If you want to avoid all criticism in your life, be nothing, do nothing, say nothing. How great would that be? Horrible! It would be absolutely horrible. So on the flip side, if you want to do something you like, be something you want to be or do something, say something, whatever, you're going to have people criticize you. I know this. I get criticized almost daily. And if you know me personally, you know I'm almost hypersensitive. I'm probably the most sensitive person I know. And even if you're not a sensitive person, criticism still hurts. Sometimes people can criticize me and it stays with me for weeks. And then it seems like if I get criticized again within the next couple days, it's just like I just get beat down. And in the last three weeks, I have got beat to the ground with criticism. Now, some people, the criticism that was sent my way might not have ever even affected them. And if that's you, that's great. Maybe you can tell me how to do that because the criticism I've received over the last few weeks has really hurt. And I'm a lot better than I used to be. And I know and I'm well aware that nobody can say something to hurt you um, unless you take it personal. That's way easier said than done, and I honestly, truly do practice not taking anything personally, but it's hard. It's really hard, but I am aware to not take anything personally, but I'm just repeating myself now. But what I want to get at is I have been, how do I say this? I feel like... I've, for some reason, over the last three weeks, I've been letting this criticism affect me badly. And I just want to encourage you that I get criticism and I take it personally and it crushes me. So first of all, maybe if it's constructive criticism, you could give me constructive criticism, possibly only if I ask for it. Because I really honestly don't feel like I'm doing anything wrong by making YouTube videos to encourage people to live their dreams, be more outgoing. No, I didn't say your name. <laughs> um, Livia's out there. Um, so... Oh, she's putting some makeup on. So I'll be very happy and curious to see what your makeup looks like in a second. So, like I said, I just only do these to motivate and I don't want anyone to be jealous. I I just started really wearing makeup in the last couple of years. Um, since I was young, I used to wear sweatshirts and sweatpants and have messy hair and just like... I really always just tried to keep to myself, to tell you the truth, um, as not to upset anyone or ruffle any feathers and just be nice. And it just seems that now that I've started a new kind of business where I have to be more out there and presenting myself, I feel feel like I get shot down more. So I just want to encourage you that um, it happens to me. It's not easy. And to just keep going and pick yourself back up. No matter what, you have to pick yourself back up after criticism. It sucks. And the quicker you can pick yourself back up, though, the quicker you can succeed. So this is just a short or maybe it is a long video. It's probably like five minutes now. So I won't take any more of your time because time is one of our most precious assets and it's something you can never ever get back. So I want to thank you 
for watching this video and I love everyone that watches my videos. Thank you for watching them. I hope they're helpful and thank you and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you guys. Bye.